Alright guys, so uh, reaction to my video from yesterday, my vlog that I incorporated, um, you know, into this channel seems to have gotten a pretty, you know, positive response. You know, not, not an amazing amount of views, but I don't really care. I'm not really here on YouTube to get a lot of views, to really, you know, um, you know, do that. That's not really what these videos are about. I'm really just here mainly just to talk from the heart. Um, you know, if I come off sounding ignorant to you or whatever it may be, that's really just me. I mean, you know, that this is just my opinions mainly. Just like anything else, whether it be wrestling or film or video games on here. Like I said, I think talking about real life is a bit more tangible than something um, uh, scripted, you know, or, um, or, or, or digitized or anything like that, you know. Um, what we usually talk about, you know, we don't talk about things that are, that are real most of the time on this channel, you know, we're talking about forms of entertainment, so, uh, you know, I think that maybe some people will get entertainment out of these videos, and, um, you know, even though they're not normally, like, because a lot of this stuff is kind of depressing that I talk about here, um, you know, I used to do these way back when on this channel, like when I first got started, before the whole wrestling thing, um, so, you know, uh, trying to get back into that a little bit, you know, not going overboard, doing a major overhaul on this channel, but once in a while I like to throw a couple of curveballs in here and, you know, really uh, just uh, try to spice things up. Um, so what I want to talk about is fucking uh, parenting nowadays, raising kids and babies and shit like that, and, you know, we all see that there are more and more fucking... Um, people just having babies and, you know, really for no apparent reason, not even that they're going to. And uh, I want to just start off this video by saying that, like, I'm a firm supporter of, a, of abortion. Yes, I, I am uh, very pro-choice. I, I really, really am. I can't even stress enough how pro-choice I am. I'm all for it. Um, you know, like, okay, when it gets to be in like the, the, you know, the third and fourth trimester of birth, um, then, you know, things get a bit like, ugh, you know, like, but if it must be done, it must be done. And, and why am I saying that? I mean, you know, you, you talk about, you know, right here from this point in the video, you're either calling me a murderer or you're saying that, you know, I'm a smart guy, it all really depends on your stance. And the reason is because of this, is because parents suck nowadays, they're horrible, they're fucking terrible. Um, you know, I know that, I, I, I used to work at fucking Target for God's sakes, I used to see all the time just how fucking parents are with their kids all the time, and they, they, they just, um, they might as well not be there. Uh, you know, it's almost like the kids are running the show. They let these kids just basically boss them around, they scream and yell, and now working in the city... Um, working in Manhattan, I see the same thing on, on, on the train every single fucking day. These kids, they scream, they yell, they misbehave. Well, kid could be fucking crying constantly. Wah, 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 and the parent will not say a goddamn thing. Won't say a goddamn thing. They'll just let that, that kid just keep fucking crying and crying. And it's like, shut that fucking thing up already. And this has really made me really dislike kids. And not that I just don't like kids, it's I don't like the kids of this current generation. I don't like how they're being raised. And, it, you know, it's really discouraging me for having kids on my own. Uh, and, and that's not to say that I don't, that I, I would think I would be a bad father or anything, but I'm just going to say this right now. I, I don't think I'm ready. At 27 years old, I don't think I'm ready. I'm not really happy at my uh, current uh, fucking, you know, uh, career. You know, um, the, you know, right now, I'm not really comfortable about the amount of money that I'm making. Uh, I, I don't feel that I am financially set to take on a child because a child is an undertaking. It basically, you know, uh, I have to pay to maintain a car, uh, insurance on a car. And it's the same thing with a kid, not to compare a fucking child to a car, but it's like the same thing. That kid, you got to buy him diapers. You got to fucking feed him. You got to entertain him. You got to do all these goddamn things and give him all the undivided attention in the world. And most people don't do that. Don't do that. You know something? I, I was looking, riding on the fucking subway. I was looking at a sign. There's a sign that says, talk to your baby. Their, their brain, their mind depends on it. The fact that they even need to make a fucking sign like that is telling you that parenting fucking sucks. 
that no one's fucking doing their job, and you can just see how fucking spoiled and fucking just how horrible these kids are. These kids have fucking iPhones, you know, they're like, kids are allowed to have whatever they want. Why are kids on social media? Why are kids on Instagram? Why are they on Facebook? Why are they expose all this shit that they shouldn't have? Now, I know I, I, I saw a couple of PG-13 movies when I was a kid, before I was supposed to, before I was 13, but that was besides the point. Those are just movies. P kids are being exposed to real life things, things that are fucking real, not movies, real life, and too fast, and just, it's fucked up. Uh, and, and parents don't care. I mean, they don't. I mean, like, look at that. They're letting their fucking kids, little fucking girls, outside in fucking, like, short shorts and shit like that. They don't give a fuck. They let the kids dress how they want, do whatever they want fucking give them a fucking cell phone. What the fuck are they even doing with a phone? Why would they even need a phone? You wouldn't even need a phone because you're with your parents all the time. You should be watching your fucking kids. They wouldn't need a phone if you're around there to talk to them to fucking, you know, uh, oh, in a case of emergencies, they're supposed to be right by your side if they're five, six, seven years old. I can see, yeah, maybe give them a phone when they're going off to school in the higher grades, but even still, they're still you know, teachers there that are still fucking supposed to be doing their job. There shouldn't be any need for a fucking phone saying that right now. You know, oh my God. And, and, and the thing is, what drives me fucking crazy is people want to get all fucking religious all of a sudden. Oh, I'm, oppo I'm opposed to abortion. I don't think abortion is good because it's killing and I don't believe in it and shit. Yeah, bitch! Uh, fucking dude, whoever's fucking saying that, guy or girl, you know, let, let's not fucking discriminate or be sexist here for the sake of this video and the integrity that it may or may not have of uh, just, you know, look at what you're doing. Y you are bringing a life into this world that's going to have a miserable life. And, oh, they could put it up for abortion. They don't! They don't! It's already been statistics. They don't put the kid up for abortion. They'll let this kid live in a shit fucking hole. It doesn't fucking, you know, uh, matter what you say. All this fucking shit that what you say and what you don't. It, it, it's just fucking mind-numbing. I, I love... Like, there's the, all these people that like to, you know, talk against, like, conservatives and Republicans and all this shit, you know, and, and stuff like that. And, oh, I'm so liberal and shit, but, 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 but you are supporting fucking one of the big Republican policies there. This is, you know, not to get political, but I'm just trying to make a point here. You know, you're supporting something like that. That, you know, that's controlling you. you. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. And, yeah, that is the statistic in this country is that most people, um, you know, are, are pro-life or whatever. You know, pro-life meaning that you're against abortion. You know, it, um, uh, you know th that that's, that's how it fucking goes with people. And I think it's mind. I mean, it's like all of a sudden, you know, you want to be the good little Christian. But, uh, you, you know, uh, here's the thing. I mean, like, you want to follow the Bible and shit like that. Well, the Bible says you're not even supposed to have sex until you're married, so... <laughs> you know, how much fucking sense does that make? You know, you know, you just can't follow the Bible to, you know, oh, I like this and I like that. No, you're not fucking religious unless you follow the whole goddamn thing, all right? You can't just pick and choose, oh, I like this part and I'll follow this part, but not this part. Just... You're fucked up, okay? Okay? It, it, it doesn't matter if you want to be the good little saint or not. You're going to have that kid, and it's going to have a miserable fucking life. And this is not to knock all parents out there before you come at me. There's a lot of good parents out there. I've seen them. I, I know some of them. I'm friends with some of them. But, uh, you know, for the most part, no. I walk around in the streets, on the train, wherever it may be, um, you, you know, and I see terrible parenting. I see horrible parents. And the fact that you need to get like an EBT card or food stamps or some type of financial support to be able to support your kids, that should tell you right there that you should not be having kids. The fact that our tax dollars, that any type of government money has to help you out, you couldn't even support yourself and you're having a kid. How much sense does that make? That doesn't make anything at all. So it's like, 
Terrible parenting is just way too fucking common. And, you know, there's nothing that's going to be done about this because people are popping out kids uh, one after the other, one after the other. Like, uh, holy fucking shit. Like, it's enough already. Like, close your legs. Uh, I, I mean, god damn it, man. I, 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 you know, it's it's enough already. Um, you know, you, I could tell, say, oh, use protection. We all know that. Nobody uses that. <laughs> really, hardly anybody does. Um, so, you know, um, come on. Uh, you know, that's, this is just getting ridiculous in this world. I mean, like, we're so overpopulated. Um, we have useless parents. And, you know, all that is going to yield is useless kids that are going to be useless parents themselves, probably. And it's going to be a vicious cycle. This is what you call a vicious cycle, um, an endless cycle, and it's just a shit cycle is what it is. It's a shit cycle that's never going to end. So, um, yeah, there you go. There's vlog number two. This is, you know, how I feel about this shit. I'm not, like, opposed to kids. I don't, like, just hate kids in general, but I am hating kids right now because of the way how they're acting because they're stupid, fun, d stupid, dumb fucking parents. Um, so, yeah. Okay, uh, so tell me what you thought about this video. Um, you know, did you think this was a good follow-up to the last one? And, yeah, uh, more vlogs to come.